Today, on Guess What I Found Out, we're going to discover some facts about why people in the southeast US are dying nearly a decade earlier than the rest of the country. Yeah, you heard that right. Ten years shaved off the scoreboard. And no, it's not just fried food, though I know some of you immediately thought it. Turns out, hurricanes are a lot deadlier than we ever gave them credit for. Just not in the way you think. If you've ever thought, well, at least the storm passed, only to discover your roof, wallet and lifespan disagreed, smash that like button. Back in the day, disasters made the world look like a deleted scene from the day after tomorrow. Take the 1931 China floods millions dead, mostly from drowning and famine. Compare that to Hurricane Maria in 2017, with around 4,600 deaths. Still awful, but far less biblical. Why? Infrastructure, food aid and, brace yourself, actual global cooperation. So, on paper, things look like they've improved. But the numbers don't tell the whole story. Here's the catch. We're great at counting direct deaths, drowning, flying debris, all the Hollywood stuff. But indirect deaths? That's where the real body count hides. Heat strokes weeks later, heart attacks months later, chronic illnesses years later. Most don't even get linked to the original disaster. It's like blaming your college hangover on kindergarten juice boxes. Technically connected, but no one writes it down. If you love government stats that leave